All right, so now this is what I was playing around with, animating with the little twinkles to show that it is indeed a clear beard or a clear mustache. The problem is It just isn't as interesting as the rest. So what I'm going to do is start adding the eye movement to those as well. So deselect this, and instead of just turning them all on, turn these on, but then also have the eyes move. So I'm just going to take the, that pupil layer and just move it down a little bit. And then merge all of those. As you're doing all this work, you might as well really control each aspect. And then layer, merge layers, Command A, Command C, paste. Right? And this will really help, help everyone realize that the mustache is gone as you're viewing it, because we pay attention to movement. Deselect, get rid of the merge layer. Turn on that last one, move the eyes again. This time let's move them this way. Maybe a little less. Topmost layer, shift, bottom, hold down option. Layer, merge layers, command A, command C, command V. So now we have this, 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 oops, this. Now we go back to here, deselect, and now it's going to start fading. Let's see, maybe this one. And I could rotate these, you know, you can do all kinds of things, but I'm trying to be a little faster. Move the eyes back. Select them all. Option, layer, merge layers, command A, command C, paste it in. And then I'm just going to reset. So turn these off and then have the eyes back at their original position. But as that's happening, oh, actually, maybe I'll leave one of these on. Yeah, leave that one on. Okay. Do that. So that's showing the consequences of the transformation. Option, layer, merge layers, command A, command C, command B, save. So now the hat's going to go back down and it's going to set to reset. So I can get back to my first frame. So that's going to turn, I'm going to delete the merge layer. That's going to turn off. The hat's going to come down like it has so many times before. And then, same thing, select all, option, layer, merge layers, command A, command C, and V. Because this is a little different than anything we've seen before because the mustache is clean and gone. And then that nose, the only thing that's going to change is the mustache is going to reappear and the nose is no, no longer going to have that smudge from the flames. So it should be pretty easy. I just need to keep my wits about me as I'm building it. So then it's this, select all the layers, option.
option, layer, merge layers, command A, command C, command V, save. Now this looks like a person holding a hat. Deselect from my assets, delete it, move the hat down all the way, and turn the mustache on, the original mustache. Well, not quite yet, but almost. It's like a magic trick. And then option, layer, merge layers, command A, command C, command V, save. And then lastly, turn on the mustache, the original. Deselect the merged one and then start moving the hat back up. And make them into frames. Option, layer, merge layers. Command A, Command C, Command V. Uh -huh, it's like walrus tusks. And deselect, we're so close. And again, it's just using assets we already have. Except I'm going to take away that soot from it now. Good. We can turn on the monocle, I believe. And I actually already made these, these exact layers at the very beginning of the animation. So I could just duplicate those frames too. One's not actually a whole lot faster than the other. Command A, Command C, and this is just a little bit more rational and easy to follow. Command S, and now we're back to our first frame. Set to reset. Right here. So this is identical to our very first frame. It just has a lot more layer assets turned off. <laughs> All right. So now... I'm going to save my assets, get rid of that last merged one. This last merged one. Save it, Command S. My assets are now done. Now I worry about my stage. And what I need to do in order to animate beyond just using this eyeball next to the layers is I need to bring it into a different program where I can play with the timing. Now this is a bit of a pain, but this is where freeware is what it is. So I'm going to turn off all my layers. What if I can just do that by selecting them all? Turning off. Nope. <laughs> so all my layers except for my first layer. So I worked from the bottom up. And my first layer I'm going to save as just a JPEG, number one. But first of all, I'm just going to make sure I save my stage. Delete my background. If I don't have a background behind my image, fill in with just a blank white. That will always be on. And now my first frame, let's save it. I go to File, Export as JPEG. Double click on the name and just put one and then save. We'll go to, to your downloads folder as one, or if you have it navigating somewhere else. Now I turn on my next frame. I don't need to turn off the one underneath because all of my layers are 100% opacity. And I say file, export as, JPEG. In Photoshop, you can automate such things, but not in freeware. I don't need to check it each time, as long as you save with a different name. Export as. JPEG, 
three. If you forget what layer you're on, just count up from the bottom. You can always check in your downloads. One, two, three. Saving our film stills. Export as JPEG. Oh, you know what? They have this export layers option. That might be worth it. I haven't played with it. But uh, I'll do it this way. <laughs> this is number four. Want to add more, more complexity. Even though it's just doing it with time and labor, but in ways that are rational that you can understand. So one, two, three, four, five. Next layer. Export as JPEG. Six. Remember, I don't have any programs open I don't need open because that will slow down the processing here because you don't want it to take a long time to save each of these as JPEGs. And if you have a lot of layers, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That will take you a long time. All right, just to make this video less painful, I'll pause here and just keep doing it and then start recording again once I have. All right, just I'm on to my last couple frames. So here's 31, exported as a JPEG, and then my last frame, 32, which I actually don't need because it's the same as my first frame, but I'm going to export it anyway, just so you can see. All right, now all of those are saved. They're all in my downloads folder. So I'm going to open up my downloads folder and I'm going to make a, a new folder and I'm going to call this Carl Assignment 3 Frames. Okay, and I'm going to move all of them into there. From 1 to 32. Now I'm going to move that folder into my assignment 3 folder from downloads. And I'll move these flames into my assets folder. Let's keep it really nice and organized. Now these frames, they're just in their own folder so they're easy to see, but this is like seeing a film strip. You can see all the things that are happening. Now I go to the assignment. And I'm going to click on easygift.com maker. And then I can just drag and drop all of these. It's important that they're in order into that window. Whoops. That's something on the new operating system. Ah, come on. Why are you being difficult? Hmm. All right. Let me try this. Jeez. All right. Now, all 32 files drop in. And it's up uploading them. And then its default frame rate is a little bit faster than 0.3, which is what I usually use. It's five frames per second, 20 millise milliseconds. Go ahead and say, just make a GIF 